We're officially starting the Boulder Skyline Traverse. This hike is between 15 and 20 miles with over 6,000 feet of elevation gain. Before heading out, we made sure to pack enough fuel to get us through the day. We definitely did not want to end up hungry on this hike. Right now, we're waiting for our Uber. Actually, at the end of the trail, we decided to drive our Jeep to the very end and take an Uber to the very beginning. That way, when we're done with the trail, we don't have to worry about taking an Uber when we're all sweaty and stinky, <laughs> and we can just get right back in our car. So our Uber is about five minutes away right now four minutes and we're getting pretty excited. Hey, how are you? Thanks for picking us up. Yeah, of course. This hike takes you to five of Boulder's peaks, including South Boulder Peak, Bear Peak, Green Mountain, Flagstaff Mountain, and ending all the way at Sunita's. You can start at either end. We decided to start at South Boulder Peak first and take an Uber over here. Beautiful day, really excited. We just hit one mile. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous, <laughs> but I think it's more excitement and nerves and just, you know, being antsy to get out and do this because we've been talking about it for a while. Yep. <laughs> so we're taking bets on how long this hike is going to take us, including breaks. My guess is eight hours. Mine is nine. <laughs> and who, what do we win at the end? Whoever's closest. <laughs> Whoever's closest gets the first foot rub. <laughs> Elliptical machine. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Plus the stair climber at the same time. <laughs> we came prepared with our life straw so we can take advantage of any and all water that's on the trail. Is it amazing? <laughs> We passed two miles, definitely a little out of breath. Right now we're hiking up through Shadow Canyon and our climb to this first peak is about, I think 3000 feet. So you get half of your climbing done by the time you get to the first peak. You ready for this, babe? I don't know. This is the part I'm dreading the most for sure. Yeah, now we do the stair stepper up another 2,000 feet through the woods over rocks. Yeah, basically straight up, just climbing steps for a long time. <laughs> we got this. Heart can be a little brutal. <laughs> you got it though. Well, you're doing good. You're not even out of breath. <laughs> I'm just putting one foot in front of the other. You got this. <laughs> Three miles, little lady. <laughs> nice work. You can keep on climbing. Yep. Guess how many feet we have left to the top? The first peak, South Boulder. 1,300. Wow, how'd you guess that exactly? Because I think I know the elevation. <laughs> yes, more than I'd like, but we're over halfway there. We have come up. 1,700? Wait for it. 1,434. Oh, nice. Awesome. So just have to do that all over again just to get to the first one. Hell yeah, let's get it. <laughs> Taking our first break for a gel pack. Which one do we have there? Spring Energy Awesome, awesome Sauce. sauce. <laughs> what is that, peanut butter? Is no. Uh, applesauce. Applesauce, right? It is basmati rice, organic applesauce, applesauce, <laughs> yam, yams, maple syrup, organic lemon juice, vanilla, sea salt, cinnamon. Mm, sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And awesome. it's sauce. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. So right down there, 
is the trailhead that we parked at, just about 2,000 feet below us. Water conservation. <laughs> Quite the position to get some water. Yes. We just made it to four miles. <laughs> Might have been the sl slowest mile of my life. <laughs> 45 minute mile. <laughs> You're doing great though. You sure are you. <laughs> I'm keeping up. <laughs> but we're about to be at the base of South Boulder Peak. Made it to the saddle. Is that what this is called? Yeah, so we're gonna go left to South Boulder Peak, then right to Bear Peak. That's right, peak number one. Here we are. Four more to go. That's right. It's all down from here though. Kind of. Down and up and down and up. Yeah. We made it up to the first peak, South Boulder Peak. Incredible view behind us. We're gonna refuel a little bit and then head, head over to Bear Peak. <laughs> Ready to go? Yep. Yeah, let's go. You can see our next two peaks from here. Bear Peak, Green Mountain. It's a bear. Amazing well, view. Almost anyway. <laughs> I'd say we're about there. <laughs> I forgot to mention it, but we passed five miles and passed 3,000 feet of climbing. Six, six miles? miles? Yeah. So that's, we're over, well, depending on how long it takes us, we're probably a third of the way done. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's great. Feels good to go downhill a little bit. Sure does. <laughs> a little bit of a break. After 3,168 feet of straight climbing. Yep. Brutal. <laughs> So beautiful down here. Yep. It's nice to be in the forest after being in that really rugged, rocky part for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> the lack of trees makes it so rocky and sandy. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> the rock got me. <laughs> Seven. Seven miles? Yep. Nice. That one went fast going all downhill. Oh yeah. <laughs> We just had a nice water break at the stream, finished my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and now we're on our way over to Green Mountain. That beginning was really brutal. I think we got the worst part out of the way so far now. Um, however, I'm a little nervous for Sunita's at the end. And Paul just told me we hit eight miles, so making some good progress so far. Are you How are you feeling? Are great. Yeah? Yeah. Good. There's South Boulder Peak and Bear Peak way out there that we just climbed. On our way up Green Mountain, second day in a row, mile nine. 
Yesterday we also hiked Green Mountain, but Paul says that doesn't count for today. We no have way. to go do it again. That's right. <laughs> We're at 3,699 feet climbed so far. Just made it up to Green Mountain, third peak of the day. <laughs> Definitely felt that last final climb. Legs are getting a little bit tired, but uh, we'll be going down from here, so we'll be able to recover a little bit. And amazing view up here. We were up here yesterday and there was so much smoke, so it's cleared out a lot. Which one you got this time? Speed nut <laughs> with caffeine. Blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, basmati rice, maple syrup, organic banana, and a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> We are at 10 miles on the dot. Total elevation is 4,192 feet. 4,100? Yeah. You said nice. I'm happy we passed 4,000. We were in the 3,000 range for a while. A long time. Awesome. So that was peak three out of five. Two more to go still. That's right. <laughs> now we're headed all the way down there. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. And then back up. And then back up. <laughs> We could do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so a while back, Paul and I found a meme, or a meme video, I guess, that says, what did it say? Like, this is what you look like when you're a kid going down your, your stairs? Yes. So we're going to do our impressions of that. <laughs> All right, you have, to, you have to rate whose impression is, is best. <laughs> Paul first. <laughs> All right, my turn. <laughs> People are going to be like, what the f are we watching? I think we might be getting a little delirious. <laughs> we're making our way down the ranger trail now next up we're heading to flagstaff mountain we had the bright idea finally that instead of drinking from the straw and having to lay on the ground to get the water why don't we just fill up one of paul's water bottles but i guess those had they had water in them for a while but much easier to drink water that way so we did that nice water source like a spring back there that we could fill them up and then we stick the straw in it yes just hit 11 miles yes up to Flagstaff, which isn't too far. Whenever we get to the last mountain called Sanitas, there's two ways up. One way is when I mapped it, about two and a half or three miles longer. And it's a pretty easy trail full of switchbacks called Lion's Lair, but there's a much easier trail that is just straight up that would be the Sanitas Trail. And it's what all the mapping applications recommend. So, are we gonna do Lion's Lair? I don't know. We have to see how we feel once we get up to Flagstaff, go all the way down the mountain and make it to Sanitas. Because all the way down the what? Mountain. <laughs> It's gonna depend whether we wanna do straight shot that's shorter or an easier trail that's a bit longer. We'll see. We'll see. We've made it to the top of the very flat Flagstaff Mountain. <laughs> Not much of an amazing view up here, like every other peak that we've had. Pretty uneventful, but I don't know. I guess this is the top. Check it off the list. Number four. Peak four out of five. And yeah. I forget, did I say we reached 11 miles? You might have. I We're probably getting that. close to 11 and a half. Yeah, probably. Okay, on to the last peak. <laughs> 12 miles. Still making our way down the Flagstaff Trail. Mm. 
Where's our last and final peak? Over. All the way out there. That's pretty far. And our car is right down there. <laughs> Are we doing Lion's Lair? Probably not. Get to the top as quickly as possible. <laughs> and then burgers and beer? Burgers and beer for sure after this. <laughs> I have to say, aside from that first climb through Shadow Canyon, which boy oh boy was that hard, going downhill this like we've been going downhill for probably two hours now this feels very hard but in a different way just your toes hitting against your shoes for so long and so much pressure on your knees so i'm ready to be on some flat ground and dare i say even going uphill i missed updating at the 13 mile mark but we just hit 14 miles and that peak is looking higher and higher the farther we go down Making our way up Sunita's, the very last peak. Wait, this... no, we're not. No? No. We're not not making our way up to Sunita's yet? No, everything we just climbed, we have to go back down and then up. Why? Because we're at Red Rocks Park. We're not at Sunita's yet. Wait, then why do you do that part? Because there's, unless you want to walk on the trail or on the road. Oh, goodness. This one's going to be a struggle for me. <laughs> do have some cool red rocks behind me. Some cool red rocks. I feel like my body's like, why are we still hiking? <laughs> <laughs> almost there. We just passed 15 miles. Almost 4,700 feet of climbing so far. Uh-huh. <laughs> More like cutie. <laughs> this is tough for me. Not for you, but for me. <laughs> About to hit 16 miles. Almost at 5,400 feet of elevation gain. Oh. Almost there. You got this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> The very last summit, Sunita's, right behind me. Almost made it. Let the kid eat. Oh my goodness. Touch it. Oh. Come on. You're not there yet. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. Good job. You too. <laughs> awesome job. Thank you. Our final peak brought us to 16 and a half miles and 5,884 feet of climbing. <laughs> now just to go back home and hopefully have a burger and beer <laughs> very soon. We completed the skyline traverse that was definitely very hard especially at the end but I do feel so accomplished and very proud of myself and so proud of you too <laughs> you did amazing thanks babe we ended up at 18 and a half miles 6,001 feet of elevation gain and our total moving time was 7 hours 55 minutes so if you're watching this video because you're thinking about doing the skyline traverse and you have any questions feel free to leave a comment I'd be happy to you know share our opinion or you know what we thought of certain things 
Thank you so much for joining us on this incredible day doing the Boulder Skyline Traverse. We really appreciate you watching and hopefully if you're not yet, you'll subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. We'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So good. So good. Everything you've dreamt of? For 18 miles. <laughs>